woke up early enough in the morning, you'd be able to see the sunrise. But don't you ever wonder what makes night and day? Or rather, where the sun goes when you can't see it? Well, here's a big question. So, we're here on planet Earth, and this is the sun. We'll cut the Earth with the line, and we'll call this line the Earth's axis. So, the Earth spins on its axis, meaning one side of the Earth will be in the light, while the other side will be in the dark. So, if you're on the side that's facing the sun and has light, it's daytime. While if you're on the other side that's facing away from the sun and is dark, well, you might have guessed it, it's nighttime. But that's not all. The Earth spins around the sun as well in a line called an orbit. It takes the Earth about 365 days to go around the sun. This is called a revolution, and it's the same as a year. The Earth keeps rotating and spinning. It's not sitting straight up and down, its axis is actually tilted just a little. This tilt causes one part of the Earth to be closer to the sun, while the other part to be leaning away. This means different parts of our planet get different amount of light and heat. So, let's call this part the Northern Hemisphere and this part the Southern Hemisphere. At certain times of the year, the Northern Hemisphere will lean towards the sun and the Southern Hemisphere away from the sun. And at other times, the Southern Hemisphere will lean towards the sun while the Northern Hemisphere leans away. As the Earth keeps spinning, it creates a pattern. This pattern creates seasons. When the part of the world you're living in is closer to the sun, the days are longer and they are warmer. This is the hot season. When you're on the part that's actually leaning away from the sun, the days are shorter and it's colder. In between is the rainy season and the windy season. So if the Earth wasn't tilted, we would have the same season all year long. So, revolution, rotation, orbit. In conclusion, when you wake up in the morning and see the sun in the sky, it's not actually going around us. It's us spinning and going around it. With the seven other planets, of course. 